y'all come on to the kitchen so I can show you guys how we are going to make these delicious shrimp video tacos. So y'all see my peppers. Y'all see my peppers. I'm about, I'm gonna cut these things off. This one don't have one on it, so. I wonder should I be using gloves for this? Probably so, huh? But we're gonna take the tacos out. Y'all, I'm making chicken. I'm not making beef. Did I say I'm making chicken? Did I say that already? I think so. Yeah, I'm making chicken video, not um, beef. And they are going to be street taco size. So you need five of these um, gua, guajillo, seven of these, seven guajillo peppers, seven of them. You need two, it's a, it's a pepper that starts with the M, but I don't have those. I have horrible chili pods. These are Japanese peppers. And you need two, uh, what are these called? Anjo, ancho chilies, two of these. Seven of these, two of these, and two of these. So these two must be the hottest because they're telling you to only use seven. I mean, use only two. So these must not be hot. I've used these before to make tamales. Uh, the guajillo, whatever they called, y'all. So you want to seed these and devein them because you don't want them to be hot. At least I don't. So y'all, I will be back. I'm going to seed all of these and I'm going to put them in some water. Um, let them boil for a little while. You don't even have to let them boil forever. You just want to get them kind of soft. So that's what I'm going to do. So I will be back. Okay, you guys, on here I'm going to be putting my tomatoes. You need four of them. This one is kind of big. Um, five cloves of garlic on here. It's not hot yet, but when it get hot, and you need a fourth of an onion. So you guys, this is all gonna get blended up, but we're gonna cook it until it turns black, brown. We're gonna kind of roast it, but on top of here, we're gonna roast it. We're not gonna roast it like in the oven. I should have did that, but it's not that serious. So we're gonna roast them on here. Roast the tomatoes. Okay, you guys see how it's browning up? It's browning. I'm gonna take it and put it in my blender along with the juice of the, um, the pepper. I'll put the biggest pieces in there first. So you're gonna put all of that in there. Tomatoes and all. All of it together. Onions, tomatoes, garlic, all of it. Okay, you guys, so I'm gonna pour those chilies along with the water and all of that in here. So we can blend all of this up together. So you wanna put all of that in here, along with the juice, the water from it. You know, I don't think you wanna use, you don't wanna use all the water, not I think, don't think. You don't wanna use all the water, but we'll see how much we need. But for right now, I put maybe about that much. Then we'll blend this all up together. Add one tablespoon of allspice, one tablespoon of cumin, one tablespoon of dried oregano, a half a teaspoon of uh, cinnamon. Um, you're gonna add some salt to your taste. You add it to your taste. So you put as little as or as much as you want. So I have some cloves and I have some bay leaves, but we're gonna add that in the um, pot with the chicken. You guys, I forgot one important key thing. You got to strain this so that you don't have all them big lumps in your um, sauce. So you have to strain it. I forgot to tell y'all that. Strain your sauce. Okay, you guys. So we are going to make some uh, shrimp, some video shrimp tacos. I, I am going to insert a video in the beginning of this video of me showing you guys how I made the consomme. I didn't want to have to do that all over again, but I'll insert it in the beginning so you guys can see how I made the consomme. So I'm also doing lobster tails. So I'm, I have two lobster tails and I have a pound of shrimp. I'm actually going to cut these shrimp. I'm going to cut the lobster tail as well. I got 10 taco shells, so you should be able to make about 10 tacos. I got I have some cheese, some uh, mozzarella, well, some queso cheese is what I have. It seems like it melts a little better than mozzarella cheese. So queso cheese, a pound of shrimp, two lobster tails. I got some limes for just to squeeze it on. Y'all, come on to the kitchen. I'm going to show y'all what we're going to do here, okay? So I'm going to just cut it in half like so. Just like that. 
and I'm taking this meat out because I'm going to cut these in chunks. I don't need the shell. Hopefully they don't have no um, poop in them. If they do, I'm going to clean them just in case, y'all. I don't see any, but I'm going to rinse them off anyway. I'm going to wash them off just in case. So, I'll probably say, well, why you didn't do that before you came here? Because I want y'all to see me cut this. I want y'all to see that I'm strong. I'm strong. So, like I said, I'm going to cut them in chunks. You know, bite-sized pieces for tacos. You, you, you're making tacos. So, we're going to cut those. I'm not seasoning these or anything, you guys. I'm not putting any seasoning because I seasoned my consomme is seasoned already. And like I said, I will put the video in the beginning so that you guys are able to see what I'm talking about, how I made it. Make it the same way. The last time I made chicken, this time I'm going to make shrimp and lobster. So, that's my lobster. My shrimp, I probably cut it in three. Yeah, I cut them in three. Consomme gets too thick. Like, I, I added some... Um, I'll show you guys once I finish cutting these. I added some um, orange starch to mine and it got a little too thick. So then I added a little bit of um, chicken broth. So you guys, it's sticking to the bottom a little bit. And like I said, I put a little too much corn starch in it. But you can loosen it up with chicken broth. I wouldn't loosen it up with water if I were you. Because it might go bland. You want it to have a little bit of flavor. So like I said, you can loosen it up with chicken broth if that's what you choose to do and that's what I chose to do okay you guys so here is my raw shrimp and um, lobster I'm just adding it to this you know that shrimp and lobster don't take very long to cook seafood period don't take very long to cook no seafood so we're going to add all of that and make sure it's nicely up in this sauce and we're gonna let it simmer until I feel that it's done to where we can put it in the uh, tacos but now I'm gonna get my uh, my stuff ready so that we can get the tacos together so you guys I'm gonna let this cook and then I'll come back once it is uh, ready I'll be big so you guys I'm gonna take my uh, my uh, shells I'm gonna take these and I'm going to put them in that consomme. Kind of like if you was making enchiladas. Let me just add it there. Put it in the consomme. And add it. Okay, you guys. So then we are going to add some cheese all over it. So you're making a queso. Video queso is what they call it in the restaurante. Then you are gonna take some of that shrimp and that lobster. Y'all, I'm about to make my whole little griddle fall off of this thing. And put it on there. The cheese is melted. It's melted. Pile them up as little or as much as you like. So then we're going to take them and fold them over like so. Y'all, don't they look good? Don't they look good? I'm going to bring them over here a little bit. Let me move some of this burnt stuff out the way. I think I work at Benihana or a, a hibachi grill. One of the two. So you guys, I'm gonna plate these up. I'll be back once I am done. I'm ready for y'all to see my plate. Okay, you guys, so this is the finished product. This is my uh, consomme, if y'all can see it. Y'all probably can't, but that's my consomme. Y'all, I think y'all can see it. 
I'm gonna put a little onions in it, even though I don't really eat onions, but we're gonna put a little onions, a little cilantro. I probably should put the onions on top. There we go. So for our tacos, we are gonna add some onion. We'll do the cilantro first. Cilantro. Cilantro. I'll probably say, girl, your hand is in the way. Y'all, we just gonna go like this. That's what we gonna do. We gonna just put it over there like that. Cause you may not wanna eat that. And I got some green salsa that I'm gonna put on, that I'm gonna add. Probably not to all of them, because I don't think I like the salsa in the way that it looks. And we got some limes back here for garnish. A few limes. You can add some more cheese if you want as well. So that is the finished product. Y'all see that? Y'all do y'all see it? Y'all see how good it look on. Huh? Y'all see it? Look, that looks delicious. Divine and delicious. A little lime on it and I wasn't recording y'all so here we go again y'all see the inside of that you gotta make these y'all these are delicious They, they so good, they falling apart. I'm gonna dip it in the consomme. Mmm, 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 mmm. Y'all probably say, girl, we don't wanna see no lime. We wanna see those delicious tacos, y'all see them? So you guys, this is the finished product of my Bidia Tacos, shrimp Bidia Tacos. This is them. Here, don't they look delicious, y'all? So you guys, oh, and that's my consomme. So you guys, until next time, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share this video with every and anybody that you know, and don't forget to hit that little bell so that you will be notified of each and every time that I, yes me, post a video. Love you guys. Bye. Mwah.